What's up guys? Thanks for checking out the channel, watching the video. Today we're baking a cake. You know I love to bake. Number one thing, more bacon on this channel than anything. Anyway, this is a cake. This is a chocolate cake. It's a bunt cake. Almost my favorite kind of cake. But um, I do love the simplicity of a bunt cake or tube cake. Um, throw it in the pan. You don't have to do layers or anything like that. It's super easy. This one is a chocolate bunt cake. A lot of the chocolate bunt cakes, I think, are overboard chocolate. I know it's hard to believe that there is such a thing as overboard chocolate, but it is. It can be too much. So this is kind of a lighter chocolate cake, but it's still really chocolatey. Don't get me wrong. It's really good, really simple to make. It does not have icing. It has a glaze on it that you just drizzle over the top. It's really pretty looking. Um, I love it. It's probably one of my top favorite cakes. It's my favorite chocolate cake for sure. So. We're gonna make this chocolate bun cake today. Um, if you have any suggestions, or if you know any changes to the recipe, or if you have a good recipe you wanna share it with me, please do so down below. Also, if you're not a subscriber, take a second, hit that subscri subscriber button because it means the world to us. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. So love to hear from you guys. Make sure you put your comments, questions, concerns down below. Here comes the recipe for my favorite chocolate bun cake. Okay, first thing we'll do, we're gonna spray our pan generously with vegetable spray. Now we want to coat the pan with, usually you would flour, but we're not gonna do that. Since we're doing a chocolate cake, we're gonna use cocoa. So put about a teaspoon in a sieve, and we just wanna coat the inside of the bunt pan. Make sure you get the little tall part in the middle. Make sure you get the sides with cocoa. I'll do it just like that. Now I'm gonna take this, flip it upside down and dump out the extra. So that's what we have. We're gonna set that to the side. In the bowl of our handy dandy mixer, we're gonna put a cake mix. I'm using the chocolate fudge, super moist Betty Crocker. I didn't go with the dark like the devil's food. I just went with a basic chocolate because it's got a lot of chocolate. We don't want to be crazy chocolate. So we're going to dump that in. We have preheated the oven to 350 degrees, by the way. We're going to put a thing of chocolate instant pie puff up. We're going to put a box of chocolate pudding instant, 3.9 ounces. We're going to throw that big boy in there. The whole thing, just like that. We're gonna add two thirds a cup of water. We're gonna add a half a cup of oil, vegetable oil. We are going to put in, let me get a spatula. We're gonna put in um, one cup of sour cream. We're going to put in four eggs. four eggs, and we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Possibly a little more, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Everyone, everyone you're happy with. I like vanilla, so we'll put our paddle attachment on. Lock it in place, raise it up. Put it on low for just a second or two, about 30 seconds. We wanna mix this together before we start going full speed. that point we're going to stop scrape down our sides all right now we're going to let this beat for about two minutes on medium all right we're going to drop take that down to take this out our paddle 
metal. mixer, we're going to add one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we're going to fold that in. See, I, that's why I just don't think it needs like a, a devil's food cake because you got a lot of chocolate. You're going to have a chocolate glaze. All right. So we're going to bring back our prepared bunt pan. And we're just going to kind of spread this in. Super easy cake, too. So now I just take my spatula and kind of jiggle up and down. We want to get this spread out evenly. We have a high part right here. So if we keep doing that, it's going to spread out. All right, kids. That looks good. That's going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 55 to 60 minutes. Okay, guys, this has been in the oven for 55 minutes. Take it out. It's done completely. We're gonna let that cool right here for about 15 minutes. All right guys, it is cooled off a little bit. What we're gonna do now is kind of stick a knife around the outside edge, just kind of loosening, make sure those edges are loose. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing this or any kind of crazy things like that. Just like that. Ah, that was loud. We're gonna take our wire rack, set it upside down just like that. And we're gonna invert this thing. Just like that. Turn it upside down. Now, so now we've inverted it upside down. We're gonna leave it in this pan upside down. We're not gonna to try to bang it, try, try to shake it to get it out. Let it just sit there until it is cooled completely. Nine out of 10 times when you come back and it's cooled completely, you just lift the pan off and you have a beautiful cake. So let's let, thing, thing, let this thing cool and we'll see you when it does cool down. All right guys, it has cooled completely. We're going to lift it up and see if it did pop out of the pan. And I'm, I think it did. Look at that. All right, let's get to making the glaze and we'll call it done after that. For the glaze guys, super easy. We have five tablespoons of butter and we've melted that. We are gonna add six tablespoons of cocoa. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna stir this. And cook this on low for about five minutes. All right guys, it's been about five minutes and it's loosened up a little bit. You want it to kind of melt. So to this, we're gonna add one cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna kill the heat, by the way. We're gonna stir that in. It is gonna be thick. We still got more to add to it, so no worries. Okay, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna put a dash of salt, just a smidge. Okay, we just wanna mix that together. Now we're gonna add boiling water to this. But we wanna get this mixed up first. All 
All right, guys, we got hot, hot water here. We're gonna put about two tablespoons to start out. Mix that in. We want to get it to the right consistency of where we're going to drizzle this. So anywhere up to about six tablespoons, but usually lower works better. So just keep stirring until it's soft and smooth and velvety. All right, guys, we have ended up with about five tablespoons of water. And we have stirred and stirred, put it back on low heat, let it get hot and melt, and you have a beautiful little glaze right there. So let's glaze the cake. So all I'm gonna do is just take it out and drizzle it right over the top, just like that. We want it to run down in the middle and be magical. Smells so good. Oh, totally missed that. And we're gonna kind of play with this a little when we get it all this glaze on here. We take that tablespoon, just kind of smooth it and make sure it runs down the edge like that. Make sure it's coating and looking all beautiful. Because we do definitely want it to drip down the edges. All right, and it is doing just that. Kind of do. I'm just kind of jiggle jaggling up, uh, up and down like that, and making it look rippled on top. So that's what you got, guys. There she is. There she is. We're gonna let it cool a little bit more. Let that glaze cool and kind of set, and then we will give it a taste. All right, kids. Let's cut a piece and give it a taste. Beautiful. That's what the interior looks like. The chocolate chips in there. Oh my goodness. Now, of course, I'm gonna put this in the fridge because I like it cold, but we're gonna give this a taste. All right, guys, time to taste. Smell, oh, the chocolate, the vanilla. Very good. Wonderful crumb to it. Absolutely simply delicious. That is just a really excellent chocolate cake. Very moist, great chocolate flavor, very delicate, really, really good. You should totally try this if you like chocolate cake. It is simply an amazing chocolate cake. You guys, the recipe will be down below along with the button that you hit subscribe. So don't forget to hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have um, any suggestions for recipes, I'd love to have those too. Thanks for all the comments from the past. You guys have a great week out there. Be safe, but above all, be kind.